Okay, so I know you guys might join me in a minute because my last live feed has just gone dead. So if you're there, hello, um, I'm just going to be finishing off this soup bowl. But the soup bowl ended up being too big because I did it too wide. So sorry guys, disappeared for a minute. And there we go, all done. So, and because of what happened with me cutting it too small, actually it's come out uh, not too uh, shabby. It's not too bad actually. Just a little bit snugger than the other one. Hi Stuart. I'm sorry about that. The, um, the wire came out of the um, laptop. <laughs> I'm just... Just so bad at this. Hi, Elaine. Sorry about that earlier. So you can see, so this, this soup bowl is a little bit snugger. I thought I'd come back because I'd like you lot to say um, tra to each other. So I'm going to do the same as I did. I'm going to do the same as I did earlier. I'm going to make that little cross in the middle that I wanted. Um, but I'm going to do it that way because... I've got dark blue on the bottom in the bobbin, so I'll just pop that in the machine. It's a little bit snugger than the other one, but that's what you get for not paying attention to the darts. I shouldn't have cut the darts out, I should have sewn them down. So, put the press foot down and just give that back. And then, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this, what I'm doing? And then, just press the foot down. And then, this is actually cotton I'm using. I'm actually using um, a moon thread. So, it is there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to disappear. I, I don't know what I was thinking. So I've got the opening on that side, which is a little bit tricky to do because it's a curve. So um, I'm going to I need to press that down. So if I press that down. And then I can hand sew that again, like the other one. I just think it's so bulky. But I'm sure this machine will handle it really well. So create that shape, get that shape back. Happy with that. Some clips in. And there we go. So, oh, <laughs> that's a lot of clips. Uh, I'm not used to putting that many clips in, but so that's what you get. So, I'm going to hand sew that as well. Just get rid of those loose threads that I've got. Mm, scissors putting them down. Where have I put them down now? This time. Some snips there. Okie doke. I don't think I've got a thinner needle in these. No, I haven't. Not a smaller needle, but not a thinner needle, not so much thinner. Okay, take some thread out of the machine. Now, I'm not sure what Pete's cooking tonight, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. I think he's making a curry, but I've never known him to make a curry. I think he might be cheating. 
using some paste. That, that's okay. I can't complain because I have not cooking. So I'm going to just sew this by hand like I did before. And then I'm going to escape. Oh, <laughs> I feel like my neck's gone wobbly. Right, well, I'm just going to stop there. Technology does not like me because I'm not very good with technology. So I, it's a punishment. That's what happens. Um, so, oh, Lorenzo, you've joined us. So we're making soup cozies tonight. Oh, well, that's it. I'm not going to make any more. But I'll make some cutlery um, holders as well. So it'll be nice to have while, um, while you're eating. So... Um, the way I will make this, I'll pad it out and again, I'll just make the pocket, a look, it's going to be thinner than this, it's not going to be as wide as this, um, but it'll be long enough just to hold the spoon and your butter knife um, and then maybe something like that, that sits by the side of your soup bowl. I think that's quite a cute little gift to give to somebody, don't you? I think so. I think somebody will like that. So I'm going to pad this out, uh, done this, and then present it to Pete and Jasmine and say, what do you think? Because I know they like their soup. Um, guys, whatever you're doing this evening, have a lovely evening. Hopefully, you've been keeping an eye for the clues and um, marked today's clue. Um, we're going to put them all together later. Um, and then we're going to work something out. I don't know what you guys are saying. Oh, FK, the grey t-shirt. <laughs> I've left it in the other room. What I'll do is, I'll, are you on Instagram? Uh, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know, Jamila. You have to work it out. You have to be Sherlock. Um, what I will do is I will... Uh, do you know what? Because I don't... Because I talk and read and get technology all messed up while I'm doing the show, it's I find it really hard to cut and sew. So what I'll do is, like I did with my son's T-shirt, I will cut it out prior and film it and then talk over it. And then um, I've shown you how to do it anyway. And you can ask questions while you're watching it. Then I will sew some of it and I'll sew it. Now, um... And you can, in fact, why don't you comment below, guys, all of you will be really helpful to me. Would you prefer me to sew this velvet on an overlocker or would you prefer me to sew it on a sewing machine? Um, I don't mind. It's going to work out brilliantly either way. Um, it's a stretch fabric, stretch fa velvet fabric. So not only have we got the hiccups and problems of it being a stretch, which people find a struggle as it is, but we've also got the problems of it being velvet, which means the pile, this sort of uh, creep. So you've got that two problem. Now on these overlocker, these juking machines, they have this micro lift, which is really good. It sort of floats above the fabric. So, but we do have the press foot pressure uh, dial, um, which changes it. I'm gonna yawn because I feel so tired today. And you also have walking feet. Now, with the, with the Juki machines, you have the box feed, which is what I was saying about um, helping with uh, layered fabric. So that helps with the pile, but the walking foot, um, why will we not do that? On the overlocker, I need to overlocker stretch game. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to be doing this on overlocker. Okay, great. Okay, so um, which overlockers do you guys have? Let me know. Um, and then we can work on a different overlocker. Um, uh, the Jaguars have been, uh, a couple of years ago, I loved the Jaguar overlockers and I gave great um, recommendation for the Jaguar overlocker. But in the past year, 2022 i have been reading lots of negative feedback for um hi again yolanda sorry about that 
I've been reading lots of negative feedback for the Jaguars, particularly the Jaguar 489, and um, I'm not very happy about that. When I recommend a machine, part of my consideration is the after sales, and I like to think that the after sales is good. My experiences are good. Now, but the problem is, you've got a Jaguar. Um, the problem with uh, the Jaguar company this year, they've been not so helpful. Not so helpful. Some people, not a lot of people, but some people have been very unhappy with the way they've been handled. Uh, handled how they've been treated at the after sales so that is going to affect the way when I recommend a machine I don't I don't I, I always think that people should be getting great service long after you've bought a machine um so okay we, it looks like we're making this velvet top so I'll cut it out tomorrow in the day <gasps> I can't I'm down the mill I'll do it early in the morning. So I'll cut the fabric out. I'll make my t-shirt, cut it out. Uh, you saw how I made the pattern. Um, I'll get the binding and everything ready. And then that's the cutting part done. And then all I need to do is sit with you guys and sew it. So have a lovely evening, guys. I've been with you. It is Sunday tomorrow. Mill is open on Sundays. It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> Um, but actually, it's the last day I'm going to be down the mill. I'm going to be down the mill. Um, ooh, they're nice ones, Yolanda. Uh, do I, Amanda? Do you think so, Amanda? Do you think I do a lot? I think those guys think I don't do anything. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's life, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go and lay the table. Um, I'm going to go and impress Pete. In fact, while he's finishing cooking, I'm going to go and finish his soup bowl and ask him what he thinks. And maybe I'll take a picture with his soup bowl in there. <laughs> uh, you guys are the best and absolutely, truly are the loveliest people ever. So have a lovely evening. And I did this on the phone, so I've not done this on the phone, so I don't know if it'll work. Have a good evening. See you all soon. Bye.